Boom. I know it's a little early for the, uh, you know, the, uh, the jump scares and the, the spoopy, but uh, I figured I would uh, hop on that earlier or some shit. I don't know. Uh, it probably didn't work. And you know, it is what it is. There we go. Alrighty, I hope we all have been doing well. How have you all been today? Oh, Universin! Ah, you're in Japan. Ah, well, welcome, welcome. What's, uh, what's the time difference between here and there? Like, it's 8 p.m. for me, so, like, what's it for you? Hopefully you all of, uh, or you especially are adjusting to and enjoying your, your day. 3 a.m. for you, Sapphire Lowell? Oh, my God. Hey, Apple Cat. Oh, my God. It's been a while. Yeah. Where you been, man? Welcome back. Okay, so, um, mostly, because I don't have, I don't have a whole lot of worlds or anything to show off today, so, uh, I'm just going to be designing stuff, basically, sort of like the olden days. So this is the bathrooms. Hey, Titan Boss, welcome. So we've been a little busy. Uh, this is a, um, creative world download of the place. Yeah, it's a lot like Building with Jack, yeah. And um, so I don't have a whole lot of... I've got a lot of extra stuff here, and Copperator and Universin had been, you know, contributing. Um, apart from that, you know, it's mostly just been a, uh, a process, filling in everything and making stuff. Visiting school, work, okay, I understand. Well, hey. That's life. Everybody has their... Uh, there are things they have to work on, and so on. So, I'm especially proud of this. I created <laughs> public bathrooms. I know, right, Danny? <laughs> hey, now, it's not just a public bathroom. You know, it's got a lot of swim stuff in it, too. Yeah, progress is booming, I know. Oh, wow. Oh. Seriously? Who made this? Fess up. Which one of you made this? It's actually really fucking cute. I, I would be... I would be very disappointed to, like, have to destroy this, but I don't know. It's always good to relax. Okay, good, good, good. I hope to make you forget your problems for a while, Apple Cat. That was you, okay. I like it. Honestly, I think I'm gonna keep it. It's stupid, but I love it. It's honestly not something you would expect to find. I might end up just moving it somewhere. I don't know. I like it. Press one in chat if you understand what this reference is. Oh, and also, I didn't um, inform Discord. Everyone. It's a rousing episode. Oh my god, I cannot spell. Of building with Jack today. There we go. Much better. Now then. So yeah, this is the bathrooms, or the jack rooms, as some people like to refer to it. This is the the game that I'm going to be building. Um, mostly we're trying to get the, uh, the designing parts out of the way first. I want to have as much crazy, unexpected architecture and other fun oddities as I can manage. So I made this giant cylinder here. Um, it goes up into here. So it's a big, 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 big area. This is the tallest singular room, I think, in the entire game. I want to make this, uh, oh, that's another thing. I wanted to make a sort of, um, so in Dream Core, which is, where I'm going to be, you know, Harry Potter bathroom. <laughs> I might do that. I don't know. Um, anyway, and uh, yeah, in, in Dream Core, there was an area that had a giant tree. 
It was in a giant cylindrical room, much like this one. And it had this giant tree in the center. Um, I'd have to build, you know, or, or import one, I don't know. And I'm thinking of doing something like that, but made out of skulk. It's where it's like a giant corrupted tree or something like that. And then have the, the skulk stuff be the leaves, you know, something like that. And uh, it's going to be more lush and put together than that. But that's the gist of how I would like it. And, uh, yeah, I think it'll look really neat and, like, creepy. Because, um, as you can see, in some sections over here... <laughs> copper was here. I'm actually, sadly, Copperator, I'm going to probably be breaking this back wall and making more sewer system over in here. So there's probably going to be a lot of sewer system, like this segment right here, will probably empty out into it. So I don't know. Um, I don't want to have this giant chunk of space just sort of not be utilized. That's that's bad, you know. One, one, good, good, good. Uh, it feels like a dream that I'm a uh, in a big haunted mall. Yes, liminal. That's that's the feeling you're feeling, Apple Cat. It's liminality. So we got this area over here, which is a giant, um, it's a shallow, shallow pool. But then over on this edge, we've got this sort of pillory looking area. And then just a bunch of fucking toilets, like of different sizes and uh, styles. And then over here, uh, we got a bunch of stalls. You can't see what's in there. You don't know what, uh, what might be lurking inside of a stall. And there's even a passageway that opens up, goes off this direction. That's going to be probably relevant for the game, but we'll see. Made that area based on a YouTube thumbnail. Ooh, great idea. Wow, you did a great job, Universal. So, uh, oh, I, I love the, um, I, I made the uh, hanging broken, um, what's it, uh, lighting fixture. And I kind of want to make another one somewhere else just as like a because I like the idea of a lighting fixture that's out of whack maybe exposed so we'll do one right here real quick The idea is eventually I'm going to be building this on 2B2T, so I've got to be very careful with, like, material costs. Because, um... It, this, this build, I could see getting easily out of hand. There we go. And then... As cool as it would be... Um, I might just cover that top bit and then have like that there as just like environmental storytelling this oh wait no 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 all five it's like the thing fell out basically that's that's what it's getting at it like went boom and this is the bathrooms it's bathrooms policy on transgender individuals oh don't worry it doesn't matter who or what or why or where you are the bathrooms will menace you all the same. Um, here is a uh, sort of entranceway inside of a stall. And this, uh, this dumps you out back at the very beginning. I didn't make the connector. I just sort of made this starting area. And uh, we've, been, we've been just sort of innovating on these ideas. Uh, I got to make this hallway go off somewhere obviously um i've engineered up a bunch of little you know redstone trickery um where's a new a new bit of something i've been working on uh there's this over here i may or may not have shown it off let me go into free camera real fast yeah it shuts this water valve or this waterway um and ah over here so this room 
This room has a bunch of, um, it comes out of this broken pipe room. And you, you walk down this pathway here. And there are a bunch of uh, lockers over to your your uh, immediate right as soon as you enter the room. You can uh, cower in this locker here. That's how you get in and out. You can't enter into any of the rest of the lockers. And uh, the point is, hiding in lockers is important. I'm probably going to put a bad guy of some kind back in here. He'll be the only bad guy in this area because this isn't this isn't an accessible area. This is a fairly small area. But I got some piping up there that I borrowed the idea from Copperator. More copper piping there. Piping here. You'll be able to swim through this pipe. Um, eventually. And then you can fall down into this shallow, shallow pool. And you can't get back out. You're you're trapped in here. That's that's on purpose. And over here, we'll sort of continue off to more I don't know, sewer system like stuff. But uh, what I'm especially happy for is uh, eventually I'm going to have a a door control here. And so that shuffles this around. And what that did is it closes that back end of the pipe. And it'll make sense when I show you again. And that shuffles it around. And now that back end is entirely accessible. You can swim through this pipe and based off of either time or some other factor, this uh, this half of the pipe will shut on you and you won't, you won't have access to it. There's uh, more pipe over here. This is the broken pipe room. You can swim up into this. Um, what else? There's a giant section of pipe here that leads up. This will probably, I don't know, become some other part of the, the base. More pipe through there. Um, I have this little catwalk looking thing, which I may or may not put. Oh, I know what I should put. I'm going to put a double layer of iron trapdoor. Rat gameplay, exactly. Wither skeleton. Ooh, that's a good idea, Daniel King. I already planned on putting another wither, uh, a wither skeleton somewhere at the beginning. Another one in here would be a great idea. Because, see, he's tall enough. You know, he'd, he'd muck around in here, but he's tall enough to, like, roam around in here. The only problem is he'd fall down in there. And then he'd stop being a threat because he can't go in here. He'd be too tall to get through here. And he'd just be over in this section. Just kind of taking up space. So, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. I've got to figure out a way to stupid proof him from going over this edge so that he'll only try to go through here. We'll see. Anyway, and so I've got a little catwalk here. I'm going to have another passageway that you know, comes off from this area. And now we have this. This complicated bit of redstone. Took me all night to figure out how to properly engineer it, sadly, because sometimes I'm stupid. What that does is we've got another, you know, bathroom area and no way to access it. So based off of, you know, the tinkerings and the goings on in the dungeon, this door will either be open or closed. And this door opens up randomly. So it's like the stall parts and uh, it, it gains you access to it. And so you will be able to swim through this piping. Oh, and that reminds me, I need to... I need to go ahead and mark off a little bit of a drain area. Oh wait, <clears throat> actually. Let's not put it here. Put it over here. Oh my god, Copperator! He joined! Welcome, man, welcome. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is curve this around like that so that the water doesn't spill out here. 
This is a, uh, a sort of drain. Um, just to keep water from, like, flowing crazy. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Where did I put it? Oh, I don't have a water bucket. There we go. Okay. And so I'm going to waterlog this. There we go. And so now the water will only flow out. And it won't go any farther past this. So it won't wash away any of this. So there's a lone toilet here. And uh, this is a pipe that may or may not become an exit. I've not decided where I want this pipe to go yet. But I think that'll be an interesting sort of... It shuts and it opens every single time. Um, although this section of the pipe does... The water uh, breaks, sadly. But yeah, I think that'll be... I think that'll be something. I enjoy having these pipes sort of on it, either an internal timer or some other mechanism. I enjoy seeing them like they they internally change themselves around. That's that's kind of the phrase I'm going for. Holy shit, swimming through this is difficult. There we go. So you can swim through this pipe. That's, you know, that's the whole point. I want you to be able to get into it. Oh, I love that. So, yeah. So, we got the uh, the wall changing segment here. That's uh, going to shut and open this portion of wall. And you're probably going to come into this and not even know what the hell the deal is. Like, why can't I go through here? Well, this is a dead end. Oh, no. Hey, Hydracta, welcome. Oop, wrong thing. So yeah, there are lots and lots and lots of chances for crazy stuff to happen. Uh, I especially love this uh, giant section of shower. It's just like poking out here and you can't get past it. English is not your native language. Oh, okay, that's all right. Only possible to trap Endermen here because they'd be the perfect monster. No, because they would not be hostile to the player instantly. You would have to aggro them. I prefer a Wither Skeleton or a Vindicator. Those fit the bill far better. Now, they look like clowny uh, type monsters, you know, cartoonish Minecraft stuff. They don't look threatening. Not like the, uh, well, I don't know, maybe the Wither Skeleton looks threatening, but by and large, the, uh, the other stuff is not so, not so impressive, I, I admit. But, like, it's a start. This is also another copper pipe that's probably going to lead somewhere. Because I love me some copper piping that's, like, a maze. I want you to enter the copper pipes, and if you know where you're going... It's a quick w shortcut from point A to, say, over here, point B. But without conduit power, I want drowning to be a very real risk. And you have to take that risk as a calculated risk. So if you have dungeon knowledge, you aren't in as much danger. You only think of their appearance? Yeah, their appearance to the Cane Pixels monster is very close. I like that. If you squint hard enough, the Wither Skeleton is pretty much basic level zero. Yeah, something like that. It isn't too far off the mark. I don't know. Like, it really isn't super amazing. It's just good enough because it's a monster that hurts and it's instantly aggroed on a player. And that's good enough for me. Uh, these walls are uh, on the ground, really look like what your old uncle will wear on his jacket. You know, 34, 45 signs. Oh, 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 yeah. Um, you know, that's an accident. I'm going to, like augment this section don't you worry i understand what you're referring to 
when I was building on this and I was like adding on to it, I was like, oh yeah, this is a, this is going to be a nice little internal maze area. This is sort of like a pseudo sewer system. And uh, yeah, as I looked at it, I was like, oh, that's an accidental, you know what? Um, well, hey, you know, it won't stay that way forever because I'm going to, I'm going to knock this wall out and maybe snake this around this way. And then I'm going to make more off on this back end. And then it's going to snake around over here. So you're not really going to notice that because it's not going to be super obvious anymore. Pinwheels of friendship. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it's a, uh, well, there isn't a whole lot of friendship because I'm going to have a wither skeleton. Damn it. I keep getting put in adventure mode. I'm going to have a wither skeleton in here and he's going to be not a very nice lad. He's, he's going to terrorize the players when they first get in. Oh, shit. I've got to make more of these um, these computers. I forgot about those. That's a game mechanic. I have to have those computers in places. Anyway, we got Jeff here. He's the guardian of this um, particular wet, wild hole. And eventually... I'm going to have more drowned elsewhere. Um, oh, yes. So, yeah, so I've got to make this hole, or this hallway, rather, that goes out this direction. And obviously, we got a lot of inter intermediate area that's, like, totally on... <laughs> more fucking planes, man. Canceled all. Oh, that's right. This was going to be the decaying, destroyed one. And it didn't end up, like, panning out or something. Okay. That's fine. Well, anyway, so this is another area over on this back end that we've been... I've been tinkering with a fair bit. Universin and Copperator had the idea. Uh, Copperator was going to make a liminal hotel sort of looking thing, but watery. And I was all over this idea. This is a great idea. Still got to finish it, of course. But um, can you tell that this is a water slide? Does this look reasonable, you know, like a water slide? And not just a giant red noodle with water coming out of it. You can, you can go up in it. Like, I wanted it to be an actual water slide, but it, that that concept really does not pan out in Minecraft. Oh, hey, Aiden Quarren, how are you? I'm doing all right. Not too much has been going on. Reasonably slide-like? Yeah, okay. Good. That's the hope I'm having, that you'll see this and go, oh, that's a, that's a giant water slide. Because, like, even with these water slides, you can kind of fall down them. They're intentionally steep on purpose, though. They look like pipes. I like that. Copperator had that idea. And then over here, there's this giant boiler pipe-looking thing in the center of the room, which actually hides a game activation line. So it was very clever. Then we got a bunch of uh, rooms over here, as well as another toilet that's barred off for some reason. Doesn't have to make sense, you know. A shower there, uh, more more on fire, uh, burning hot uh, tubs that are, in my opinion, way too tiny. Oh yeah, that's right. The glowstone is meant to be a um, uh, what is it? It's a uh, that mapped sort of looking thing whoops this this white map here all of these um port window looking things are going to be stark white like that i'm uh i mean that's going to be a lot of map entities sadly but like it should be fine shouldn't be too bad oh i love these hanging lights these hanging lights are perfect Got a lot of these were also white patches up here, so I've got to I've got to put all that in. I think someone ran an, a kill at E command or something on accident. Um, and then this puts you underneath something that this was Universin's idea that I've uh, helped add on to. Let me find an entrance. Welcome to the Howling Hotel. And when you walk on the floor, it howls. Everywhere you go. Noise, noise, noise. 
And so now I've got to make rooms for the hotel. Oh, this is this is gonna freak people out so badly. And this uh, this whole upper area is gonna be a white strip of light. Needs ice for slippery? No, there's no point. That's not the point. You don't need it to be slippery. Yeah, Universal had an amazing idea with this. And so I've um, sort of helped flesh it out a little bit. Um, and then over here, I've flipped or uh, inserted a secret doorway. So you come through here, and there are a bunch of, you know, this whole area is just, it's too tall. You know, it's just too fucking tall. How am I supposed to pee in those urinals up there? You know, like, I'm not 15 feet tall. I can't, I can't reach. And then this is a, a shaft that goes down to a further level. And even the uh, the bathroom, uh, the, the hand wash basins are like way up here. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? And these, these partitions between the uh, the urinals are just too small. You, know, you can see each other's you-know-what. That's going to be terrible. And so, yeah, I've got a bunch of, like, hallway areas. This will probably terminate into a completely another, different room of some kind. I don't know why. Thoughts on meditations. Have I read it before? No, I've never never read it. I don't know what it is. I don't really have any thoughts on something I've never read. But uh, anyway, figured out a really cool um, randomized spitter outer thing. It uh, randomizes these lights to be on or off. And they go in like the freakiest way. It's, it's like the perfect emulation of a light fixture that's like halfway broken like that like i love that and it's totally random so there's no pattern to it at all it's it's amazing very very well done device that i got from uh, tango tech he built a very similar one in uh, decked out too and this is a random device that um copperator made but the problem with it is that it's it's a, a reliable pattern and like, I guess it's fine. And then these flicker on a reliable pattern. It, it it could do a little work, but it's not bad. And then over here we had this really weird wavy floor. Like the floor slopes up and down and up and down. And I haven't like, I'm not a fan of the idea, but I've not like totally abandoned it either. It may or may not be useful. I don't know. We'll see. Heard to talk about philosophy and 2D chat. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, um, not... I haven't read that, but, like, I have my own philosophy and stuff that I've... I've learned from various sources. Uh, anyway, here is something that I hope to do a little bit more of. This is a really cool concept where there is this mirrored room... That's not, you know, not really a mirror. There's another room on the other side of that. But God, that looks so uncanny. I love it. And um, what I was thinking of doing with a room like this is having a something you do in this room that activates and affects the other room. And the two sides are divided. And you don't get to this room from over here. Like... You have to go the long way around to be able to to return to its mirror opposite, you know? And so anything you do over here may or may not be affected on this side, or on that side, rather. You, confusing, but you know what I mean. What has become of the bathroom, Zanarak? It has become a pretty cool place, honestly. Anyway, so you enter into the um, this pipe here crawl up under this place. I was thinking of maybe putting iron um, trapdoors there. But I don't see a way to like adequately power this. I don't know. I kind of like the open sewer pipe look here. 
and then another addition that I uh, struggled to figure out how to, to work, but I did finally get it to work, is this bad boy. So what this will do is on a random pulse that will come down this line, it'll flip this up or flip this closed rather. So on a random pulse, um, every so often, this section of pipe will obstruct and become impossible to uh, pass through. So you won't, you won't always be able to get over to this room here. Because the only way to adequately get there is to crawl through the broken pipe area. So, like, I kind of like that. Oh, you might be good now. Okay. I don't know what problems you've had, man. Sorry to hear that. Uh, anyway, so this, this is actually a really ingenious device. Doesn't look like it, I know. But uh, here's how it works. When the observer sees something update on the rail line, when a pulse comes down the rails... Um, it's going to power this dropper. Oh, you're having connection issue. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I see now. Anyway, and so this dropper will randomly fire out one of these three items. And it will power the dropper strongly and freeze the item in the hopper very briefly, long enough for the comparator to get a signal off of it. So one of two outcomes occurs. You either get one of these items, the carrot or the mangrove trapdoor, these stack. And so when you put a big stackable item in here, it outputs a weak redstone signal. Uh, a power level of only one, as a matter of fact. So the redstone signal stops here, and these observers can't see it. So because it stopped just shy of where it needs to go, if a, if a pulse comes down here, you've got a two-thirds chance of it doing nothing. And unfortunately, if that occurs, you know... This junction does not alter. I'm doing some randomizers. Hey, Osiris. Welcome. And then if you get the wooden axe, because that's a non-stackable item, this will put out a signal strength of three. It'll land here, and both of these observers see it. This outputs a signal to this block and then to this block, and that will shuffle the, uh, the axe back and forth twice. And that allows this whole system to pulse, like this. And it takes it out and inserts the other set of stairs. And so the inside goes from being obstructed to unobstructed. And so now on a random pulse of some kind, and I'm thinking of hooking this up to way up here. Oh god. Way up here we have the daylight sensors. So as the day waxes and wanes, We've got a daylight sensor down here measuring that night and day fluctuation. And uh, based off of that, you know, these observers do stuff as the power level wanes or as the power level grows, which, you know, it just depends. So like twice a day, as the power level increases and then decreases, twice a Minecraft day, you're going to have a pulse carry down this line of rails like that. And so it decided, so we got a, we got the one-third chance. Wow, lucky us. And so now, because we got the chance, you know, the, the pipe has now become obstructed. How is life? Um, I mean, it's all right. You know, I'm, I've been working through school. I've been doing 2B2T stuff. I've uh, had a bunch of really cool ideas. I've been making a base on 2B2T now. I forgot I should have made this all stone. Actually, no, this segment doesn't need stone because this isn't waterlogged. That's right. Only the waterlogged pipes need stone under them. I forgot about that. Anyway, so um, unfortunately, we haven't had the chance to really do too much more. Like, there's this one little tiny room. I don't know who made this, but um, I hope they continue. Like, I want to see where this is going. It's a test? Oh, okay. Oh, you're testing your connection now. Okay. Yeah, way better. Damn, poor guy must have had terrible latency. Ah, you made that. Okay. Interesting. I'd love to see what it becomes, yeah. Hey, Rob, welcome. This is going to be a nice, nice game. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. 
It's going to be OG mirrored room. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> nice to know. Anyway, this is going to be over in this section here. Um, I've just got to sufficiently dirty it up. Make it look all nasty and shit. Oh, God damn it. I just hit something. Oh. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. My camera died. How could you do that, camera? There we go. Ooh. Now then. Where were we? Uh, oh yeah. Mushroom stem. Oh, I already had the mushroom stem. Whoops. Well. Anyway. I like using this as a sort of dirty block. Dirties everything up. So you could do the Tango learned uh, random or or learned light randoms for your stuff. That'd be better. I mean, it it it's fine. It doesn't need to blink on a regular pattern, but it can blink on a regular pattern. That's fine too. I think a mixture of both is is understandable. Uses uh, is used because that's the best you could do. Yeah, I understand. We we can make it work. We can make it work. Oh, the newer version is what you had in mind. Okay, yeah, I can I can hook it all up then. Don't worry about that. Um, anyway, so this section, I want to have a skibbity toilet reference. Problem is, we can't have... I mean, we could have, like, skeleton skulls or something, so maybe I can do that. Oh, no. No, no, I've got to do the silly one. i got to do the silly. Let's make... Uh, let's make it a creeper instead. A dragon head? Um, that's not terrible, but, like, a dragon head just sitting there is going to look weird. You're not going to know why, in my opinion. I feel like if it's a, um, if it's an armor stand, it's probably a little better. Oh, uh, don't add anything. Let me, let me try it. Um, also, I have a uh, toilet design that I wanted to use. I got so many building blocks in my inventory at this point, I'm getting kind of overwhelmed. Oh, that's sideways. Shit. Gotta put it that way. Now, is that facing away or facing toward? It's facing away. Shite. Should we make soap bottle shelves using turtle eggs? Ooh, that's a good idea, yeah. We should have a, uh, a section that's just nothing but assorted soaps. Soap. Oh, fuck. Soap shelves and soap bottle shelves is a good idea. Um, snow layers as like a, uh, an assorted, uh, like a bunch of towels all together. That's another really good idea. Oh, if I do that, mm, yeah, it'll have to, it'll have to be propped up. Because if I did a, um, a thing down here, I don't know. Put some boots and some pants on it. There we go. Yeah, I think that works. Anyway, and then... Brick, smooth, and then... Pillar quartz. And then a trap door with a heavy pressure plate. This more or less does it. Oh. I kind of wanted to have this be on the side here. And then have a, uh, a lever here. Go. 
shut that. And then I was going to have a, um, a trap door here in the center. Ah, there we go. We can place it. All right. So it's like the toilet lit up and then the head is coming out. Skibbity toilet. Like, and then I'll probably put a um, sign or something here that'll say that. I don't know what, but, you know, it's a creeper coming out because... I wish we could have player heads. I really do, House Master. But sadly, uh, fun is not allowed around these parts. Let's, uh, let's get a dark oak sign. Ah! Hanging signs. Skibbity. Skibbity. That'll work. Die and a glow sack. Home as well. There we go. I think that'll look nice. That'll be a uh, lookout over here because you're not supposed to get up over to there. You're not. You're not supposed to be able to get up there. Um, I want you to be able to see it from afar, but like that's not a section of the dungeon you can go to. Oh, and that reminds me, I should probably light some of it up. A little bit here just so that it isn't in danger of being mob spawned i don't want mobs spawning in there obviously i want you to kind of see that creeper head from afar and go like oh my god what is that dictator house yes he is realize what he's working on oh yeah i'm on a oh oh you're you mean this yeah sorry yeah i'm a, i'm a uh, i'm getting a bs in uh, biology Aiden, sorry, I, I was too busy being distracted with what I was making to uh, answer your question here. Remake the one dropper level? I mean, we don't have that much room, Ani. Like, the one dropper room, dropper level. Like, I guess if I burrowed a hole up here and then put it all the way down here, maybe? That's a lot of fucking room. Like, a lot of material to remove too i could make it up as high as this and then have it go straight down all the way to the very bottom maybe horse meister is not a dictator yeah uh what do i want to do in biology i want to get a uh, very minor or no it's a uh, a bs in biology and then be done with it i don't know what i'm going to do after that i'm not worried about after that oh that looks nice uh, we need to vary it up a tiny bit. Um, random jugs here and there. Uh, pickles. Sea pickles. I find sea pickles look fairly jar-like. That. And then that. That's a great touch, though. This This room needed something going for it. Something more. I love the spiral staircase, but, like, it needed other things to it as well. Uh, if this is not under your base and instead had space and world had to bedrock, we could probably do a dropper. Yeah, 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 we definitely would. I would definitely do a dropper if I could, but, um, I don't know, maybe? It's, it's a bit of a maybe, Ani, just because it's a lot of extra trouble. Because we didn't plan for that from the outset. So, like... Ooh, shelves. Um, yeah, I like that. I like the, uh, the the metal shelf just a little bit better. And then let's use the acacia. It's only one C, apparently. The acacia button as bars of soap. Um, hmm. I don't have anywhere else to put more. I don't dare put a button around here because that will fuck with the uh, this door's redstone in some way, I think. I love this this door. This is so fucking cool. Three by three doors are so based. Come work in a lab? I may have to. I may have to. Um, up over here... I'm going to have a bunch of shelving here. 
that's just like miscellaneous bars of soap. Uh, we'll have a birch and a blackstone version. You know how there are uh, certain types of soap that are black? They're, um... I've seen the dark orange soap. I've seen black soap. Um, there are pink, purple, you know, obviously you can put any kind of dye you want into a bar of soap. So, you know, all the wood types are, in my opinion, all fair game. Oh, oh, and another one. Um, the warped button. I've seen that type of blue for soap as well. So, like, I think, I think this works. Choose your soap. I personally go with the sandalwood one, but, you know, sandalwood smells amazing. Okay, um, I want to make another watery area. Candles! Oh, shit, candles. Thank you, Daniel. Let's go with the... Uh, what's a good shampoo bottle? Let's try green and let's try gray. Just to see how they look from a distance. Oh, you can't put that up. Um, eh, why not? Purple, yeah, that were or magenta rather, that worked. I guess. Oh yeah, 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 more over here. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. we should, we should have been uh, putting more over here. I, I didn't think of that. Uh, this. Turtle egg, orange candle, sea pickle, and snow layers. This is another trick that I used up, way up here. I had this idea kind of randomly. Are my sniffers alive up here? Oh my god, they are. Oh, that explains why the um, minecart's not doing anything. Oh, because all the rails are messed up. <laughs> yeah, that'd do it. I guess when World Downloader saved this, it saved it all wonky. That to here, get that to there. Holy shit, this got weird. It's not a wonder this poor system stopped functioning. Okay. Bonk. Oh, what the fuck? There were two of them? There we go. When did two of them get... That is so weird. Okay. So that's that. So that'll suck up items and keep them from just sitting there. Anyway, uh, the towel trick, uh, or rather, the snow layer trick for towels, I use that here. And uh, I used a uh, polished blackstone wall as sort of like a giant jug of bleach or something. You know, pool cleaner, or bathroom cleaner, whatever. Oh, flower pots. That's another good one. Flower pots and then cabinetry. Like these copper braces I've got? Well, thank you. I, I really enjoyed how they, they shaped up. They were a lot more work to implement than you would think. To make these uh, giant copper bracers. Okay. Uh, where were we? Yeah, wow, that looks great. Holy shit, that's perfect. It's colorful. It's, um... You know, unique. Let me do some snow over here. <laughs> Candles could be shampoo bottles. Yeah, if you worked in your lab, you made, uh, <laughs> you'd get to make soap. Great. Wow, yeah, I totally want to make soap, Ani. Thanks for the opportunity to make soap. Base looks beautiful. Thank you, Osiris. That is as current a snapshot this area up here is more or less as current a snapshot as I've managed to muster. 
there are some builds, there's some stuff in here that I built on uh, yesterday. So like the innards of the animal, the animal husbandry farm hasn't quite, you know, hasn't been flushed out, hadn't been saved in this snapshot, but you know. Oh, actually this is farther behind than I thought. The basalt generator isn't up to where I'd have, uh, I had it. Which is fine. This is an older... This is a download from like two weeks ago anyway. Okay. Um, lighting fixtures. I meant to put some light fixtures up in this room. Um, there was... Where was it? Was it up in... No, it wasn't up in here. The, uh, the hanging fixtures in the hotel area. That was kind of what I was going after. Or no, it wasn't in the hotel room. It was in this room. Yeah, okay. I wanted to see how this was done. I like this. This looks good. I'm going to be stealing this. Slash transplanting it through here. Uh, we need that. That, that, that. Lever. And some quartz stairs. Okay. Yeah, I like this. It's got a lot of potential. What are you doing? Hmm. Alright, well. Show me whatever it is when it's done, I suppose. Um. Hmm. Actually, maybe you will be able to get up in here. I'm having some some brain firings here. Let me um, let me see. So five on that side, five on that side. Let's go there. Did my base get found? What do you mean? You guys' imagination is crazy. Thank you, Rob. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. Let's do... No, we're, um... We're planning here, uh, S-Man. Nothing, nothing's been found to my knowledge. Although you're making me paranoid, I may have to hop on 2 b 2 t just to be safe. This one or is just a creative world? It's a creative version of the world so that we can plan better for the bathrooms minigame. Or, I say minigame, but it'll be a bigger game than that. Yeah. The bathrooms game has to be like... It's a lot. It's a lot. I expect it to be reasonably, like... A reasonably complicated undertaking, basically. And so it's going to be... Ooh! Oh, I know what you're doing. What mob is that? Oh, a snow golem. Okay. Cool. I like the, um... The usage of the, uh... The leads. That's a, that's a really cool idea, too. Four. Yeah, it's not bad. What's, um... What's it gonna be? I'm curious to see. Oh, I know what I should be doing. Let's go down like that. To right there. I'm trying to be a clothesline. Oh, hmm. Um, is a clothesline even doable? Oh, shit. Wrong direction. Do you know any command-based stuff since we can't replicate it? Yeah, no, no, no. It can't be any command-based stuff. 
like commands are just simply not doable cool as it is like that's that's entirely doable there's nothing command based about this but yeah i thought stuff like that might work since it's kind of the place maybe but like how would you what clothes would you be hanging from the line like otherwise it's just going to be a weird floating you know post with a uh, a lead on it it it's fine i guess but it's got to have more more going for it, I feel. If you can flesh out the concept and make it more obvious, I, I'm all right with that. Uh-oh. He broke it. Might work better in a smaller room. Eh. You know, it is what it is. Is Utopia my favorite book? Shut up, you Ani. Yeah, a thinner room. I see what you mean. Think you're funny. Utopia must be your favorite book. That was like when I first, I had to take a literature course because um, I'm like several literature courses behind. I'm, I'm almost done with it all. It's just, you know, I put it off. I didn't do it. I didn't want to do it. And so I, and I know why, because like they're boring as hell. But um, anyway, and so like I was going to take it seriously and like actually read the books that they assign in the class. What a fucking mistake that was. The very first book we read in a literature course was last semester. It was, um, uh, it was Utopia by Thomas More. And I was like, Jesus Christ, put a bullet in my head. I am done with that. The Communist Manifesto is my favorite book. God, no. Marx was a bum. His, uh, very bum ideas were not terribly useful. If anything, all the ideas of Marx have only caused more trouble. Not that I need to tell anyone here that. But yeah. Ooh, washer dryer. Oh, that is an amazing idea. Yes, I love it. I'd forgotten about that. Yeah, two iron blocks, a trap door, washer dryer. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, that does it. Holy fuck, that's great. Yeah, you can do very, um, like, modular stuff with banners. I keep forgetting banners have so many uses. That opens that. Oh, well. Um, whatever. We'll put a button on both sides just because. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. So we got a laundry sort of looking thing. Um, various assorted soaps, shampoos, bottles of various chemicals, folded towels, Oh, that reminds me, I should probably put another bit or two there. Yeah. Ooh, daylight sensor. Ooh, uh, what, what would that be? What's a giant flat box looking thing in a bathroom setting? What, uh, what, what could we like lore wise? Oh, oh shit, you can't do that. Okay. Yeah, what would that be? Hmm. Looks like a soap box. Okay. It could be chocolate. <laughs> it could be a giant slab of chocolate. Yes, yes, that makes perfect sense. Giant slab of chocolate in a bathroom setting, right? Of course. Yeah, everybody's got a giant slab of chocolate on their uh, tissue box, maybe. I know that's a little large for a tissue box, in my opinion, but it could maybe do something. Oh, well. Um, and then as for this... Like a makeup box. Yeah, maybe. That's one five. Let's go one more. I figure making it out of um, stone is a lot easier. Because then I can just like right and left click simultaneously and do this. Uh oh.
So, has everybody um, had the chance to hopefully watch the latest Rambly Bits video? There we go. Ah, damn it. <laughs> it's a solid block. But yes, what did uh, what did anyone and everybody think? Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. Boats and how they are busted is all hell. Or were. I mean, they're still kind of busted, but at least they're not, like, unimaginably busted. It's funny how, uh, you know, there seems to be, like, a variety of issues cropping up. Okay, good. Music, yeah. Yeah, I found a really good jazz cover of uh, Bowie Base Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy, and I was, like, slowed down by, like, 20%. This will be fucking dope. And it was. It was absolutely amazing. Oh. Straight end rod. Now, this this is something deceptive. This is actually a doable jump. But it is incredibly difficult. Because it's I believe it's a four block jump. Which those are always fun to try and make. Yeah, see, you always fall just short of it. Can't bring your box cutters into commercial boats anymore, yeah. Oh, wow, did you make it? Yeah, you made it. Hey, I made it too. So yeah, you can make this jump, but just barely. And at first I was like, oh God, that's an oversight. I've got to shorten this balcony. But then I was like, wait a minute. If you can make this jump, you deserve to be able to sequence break because this game is um, Metroidvania inspired and sequence breaking is very much an intended feature of Metroidvania games. So I'm all right with that. Like. That's a difficult jump to make, the uh, the good old four-block spanner. But that is a doable jump, if you know how, or if you're lucky. And you're not really heavily penalized if you miss, because you just land in the water and, you know, you don't take fall damage, so good enough. No reason to really stress about it. I'm thinking of um, putting a light fixture here. And then just sort of having it. Because, like, it shouldn't interfere size-wise. So you should still be able to do that jump. But it is... You know, it's, uh, it's sort of kind of in the way, but not really. What am I building, PA? It is a... Oh man, it's complicated. Um, so are you familiar with Decked Out? Could do washer dryers like this, you could do something out of them. Oh, that's clever. I like that, you can actually open the washer dryer. That is so fucking neat. And then I could have, in the underside here, I could have a uh, dropper. You'd be able to see it. I could have a dropper insert items into this washer dryer. That is so fucking clever. Thank you, Coprator. That is amazing. Okay, yes. What am I making? Um, well, I have a hopper behind connected up to redstone. Oh yeah, it could have, it could be behind as well. Um, the the it would be from a dropper, not likely a hopper. Um Yeah, it would be like right here. This would just be better. Texture, yeah, the textures look a little more dynamic. Yeah, I agree. That's a great idea. We could, well, I don't, hopper's not a bad idea. Because, like, you can you can put a dropper up against a hopper as sort of like a uh, last thing right there. And then you can lock the hopper until you're ready for the item or items to filter into the shulker. So, like, you can do it that way. Yeah, that's a great idea, Coprator. Thank you. Holy shit, you're right for them. But, uh, anyway, what am I making, PA? Okay. Are you familiar with Decked Out? Are you familiar with, uh, the back rooms? Are you familiar with the concept of a Metroidvania game? I hope you are. Hey, Vizpo, welcome. 
This area is under my base on 2B2T, and it's going to be a giant, sophisticated redstone run game. So if you're if you're familiar with any of that stuff, you will get a sort of overview. You will uh, you come down this uh, this central staircase. There's a spiral staircase here. This central staircase is where you gain access to the game. It's sort of like a bunker. You come in, read the rules, you know, figure out how to play the game. Um, set your spawn here. You uh, suit up in this uh, area. And then you get uh, shipped off to the back rooms, basically. Uh, this is our my 2B2T uh, video game experience. And so you walk down here and you trip and fall. And oh no, I've fallen. And you landed in the back rooms. And that's that. That's pretty much how it works. Oh, this should be a trip. I just suddenly realized. So yeah, a, uh, a 2B2T backrooms game is effectively what this is. That's the idea. Yeah, because nobody's making the game that hard. All of them are too easy for me. Well, now, I'm making a game, though. When you make a game, it's a lot easier for you because you're in a unique position. You understand, because you saw it from the ground up, how to do such and such, or what went into this or that thing. Like, I'm, I'm at an unfair advantage. I'll be able to probably play my own game very easily. But other people, not so much. Because other people aren't gonna, you know, not gonna have that. That's cool, it's gonna be public when it's done. I'm probably gonna release a world download that is separate and doctored so that it is like easier to play, but it won't expose where my base is. But uh, we'll see. Now then, um, I'm having a laundry-centric group of ideas, because for whatever reason, I suddenly remembered a small laundry room when you were I was in when I was on the East Coast trip in a campsite. The room's color scheme was kind of like this place's. Okay, neat. I, uh, I look forward to whatever that produces. Sometimes all it takes is, um, you know, reaching back into one's memory and pulling out ideas. That tends to do it. Pop Bob wants a download. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, and that's another thing. We've got to design the graffiti map art and then hang it up everywhere. Tasty. Oh wow, I made that I made that without trying. Oh. I gotta wonder, is it possible to jump from this edge? God damn it, if I can stay still. There we go. Is it possible to jump from this edge over here to over there? It probably is. I can try to do some of that after I'm done with the universe and art. Okay. Sure, sure. Oh, and also, this does kind of add a bit of peril. I do actually like this light fixture because it adds a tiny bit of peril. If you miss this jump and you don't go all the way, you can potentially land on this light fixture and, and take fall damage. So that's that's a cool idea. I like that. Okay, take care of these, Paul. Alright. Now... Where does this hallway go from here? There's a lot of potentiality. Thoughts on the ceiling fans? Ooh. Uh, ceiling fans are pretty cool. I don't know that they would go in here, but like we could put a ceiling fan in another area. Um, trying to think of where a ceiling fan would make sense. It would have to be in another room, like in this one. Although this already has some junk up here. So possibly not. Let's see. 
Where am I getting all the quartz from? Well, um, we'll probably be buying it, buying it from villagers. Because you can do that. Um, hard to say otherwise where one might get copious amounts of quartz. Oh, this is another thing I wanted to do. I wanted to add... Oh, that goes up to... That con controls conduit power. Ugh, that's like right there. I hate that. No, eh, that's fine. I think we can make that work. I love the uh, quartz brick. Quartz brick just fits this so well. Gonna have a uh, pool area. Oh, that reminds me. I took some notes, jotted down some random ass ideas that I had earlier. Let me find them. Here we go. Okay. A. Ooh, a guardian in a tube of glass, and the the glass tube goes all over the place. That's a good idea. Um, I was gonna have like a, a little, uh, hmm. Actually, let me experiment with that. Can guardians fit in a one by one? I think they can, right? I live on the ocean, so getting a guardian's not too bad. Yeah, they can, they can uh, live in a one-by-one. One. So if I made a series of one-by-one one glass tubes that go everywhere, they could, you know, he could snake his way through everything, I imagine. Okay. Decent little idea. These guys make some of the, um, these pool areas less safe. And I like that. I don't want the areas to be so plainly safe, you don't have to worry about anything. There we go. Okay, so that answers that question. Oh yeah, up here. That's right. I was gonna alter all of these. Alright. So, you uh, generally... You want to have a series of two droppers that insert into each other. Then you want comparators feeding off of these. And then bam, and then a block here so that that is strongly powered, and then two observers. Airflow, good airflow is good for places with water to prevent mold, right? Uh, kinda, yeah. That's the idea, I believe. Okay, and then to prevent that thing from clicking forever and ever and ever. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, wait, is that not gonna... Okay, so that feeds all of that into there. Needs to be a way... There we go. There, it passes everything over. Just like that. And you get a sort of randomized to... Uh, Okay, when you want, I got the ceiling fan design in the first big pool room with the big red pipe. Okay. I shall go see. Oh! Hmm. 
It's not as flat as I was expecting, but that's not terrible. I mean, I guess the signs do kind of like work. What um, would it would it look better with like fuck trapdoors? Okay, shit. Let's try jungle. Oh, I know. And a hopper. Yeah. Although, actually, we're going to do it that way. We should probably... Although, I do like the wood. The jungle wood does look good. I was going to suggest doing it with iron. Yeah, just, just in the center there. Yeah, yeah, that looks great. That's a, that's a perfect... Um, What's it? A uh, perfect fan design. Yeah. It's it's better than this one, in my opinion. Still good, though. I like the idea of the fans. A ceiling fan in random places. Some places that don't make sense. You know, things like that. that that's pretty good. I think the water slides had an open roof. It'd be easier to tell what it is. Um... I mean, if it's an open roof, what is it open to, you know? Like, this upper area has to have something, you know, some sort of sensible... Yeah, like... I don't know. It would have to, uh... It would have to be something. Also... Okay. Wait, why isn't this... Oh, one, two, three. Oh, I see now. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then this back one never lights, because it's not powerful enough. Still really cool, though. And then over here... here. Then two comparators line of dust there. because it's powering both. I get it now. Duh. Put it like that. And then that. There we go. That should start passing things back and forth. I th think.
There we go. Okay. Yeah. I like that. And then I'm going to keep this back one just because I like how it blinks on an interval. It looks good. Play solo survival? Not really. Um, I haven't played solo survival in a long time. I mostly play uh, 2B2T. Or so that's not closed. Oh, like a half tube. I see what you mean. Well, I mean, I really like how it looks is the problem. Like, I like the closed tube idea, though. I do understand where you're coming from. Also, this probably needs to have, like, some sort of support chain, something or another. Hanging this. Or supporting this and holding it up. No survival? Play, uh, I mean, I play on 2B2T, which is a... Um, it is a survival server. It's a... Uh, Anarchy server from way back in the day. Yeah, I did do hardcore series. Yeah, I've I've not really bothered to keep playing because I'm I'm more interested in playing 2 t at the moment. So when I feel like going back to the hardcore, I will. Put that there. Can I get a kit on 2BGT? <laughs> no, I don't have any kits to give. I don't have a dupe stash. I, uh, I live legitimately on 2B2T. I mean, I use a hack client, but, like, I don't duplicate items. Just because, um... I've been duplicating and doing all that shit pretty much ever since I joined 2B2T. So, like, not duplicating items is, you know, living that way is something of a uh, breath of fresh air. It's different. That's all I'll say. Duplicating is allowed, Olaf. I just don't care to do it right now. There's nothing wrong with duplicating items. If you wish to do it, do it. All I'm saying is that I do not have a dupe stash. I don't have all the items in the in the universe. And I've lost all the items that I had at old previous bases. You were 5 in Q, your Wi-Fi disconnected? Oh, I'm so sorry, Brutal. Yikes, man. I don't know what to tell you on that one. Good luck, have fun. Now, if, uh, if I recall, Universal was trying to set up some sort of a button-related puzzle here. I don't really know what it was intended to do. He never really gave me any ideas or told me anything specific, so I, I'm just going to go with that. But, yeah. Isn't it just shit to play servers where griefing is rampant? It can be painful, but if you are willing to accept your own mortality, then it's not that bad. All things are destined to end, whether we play them in single player or on multiplayer, it doesn't matter. No matter where you go or what you do, life will hit you. The universe does not let things stay the same, and the, the sooner you accept that notion, the easier it becomes to enjoy yourself. Oh, you're back from the restroom? Okay. At a nice stash of 112 building blocks all gone. Yeah, see what I mean, Olaf? Like, you lose stuff eventually. You just have to steal yourself, you know. Get used to that idea. It's it's all going to go bye-bye one day. But that's not so bad. I mean, it seems bad if you've not, you know, accepted it. But I've accepted, you know, that I'm going to I'm going to lose all my stuff someday. Like that's that's all right. The risk makes it more meaningful. Right, exactly, Scooper. You're exactly correct. The perfect kind of correct. All right. Um, 
I guess I can like uh, you and your game sing stage hazard sentry thing recreated here for my proper evaluation because the thing I never got to see it. No, I never did. I would like to see what's the stage hazard. Oh yeah, the lifeguards. Oh, I love that. Awesome. Does he have a power five bow? Uh. Let me not get in the way. Yeah, generally, if you know how, you can dodge skeletons. You're not going to build two weeks again? You just leave the server? Well, that's the difference between you and I, I suppose. The show must go on, as they say. Ow! Ooh. All right, Mr. Skelaton. How much... Um, oh, whoops. Let me... Let me refill my own health. I want to see how badly these guys hit. Okay, I'm at full health. Yeah, if you're in the water, you're fucked. Because you can't move quick enough. You can bunny hop. Yeah, he works pretty well. He's like One-Eyed Willy in Decked Out 2. He's uh, persistent as all hell, and if you aren't careful, he will fuck you up. So I guess if you're just bunny hopping and you're circling. Ow. Ow. Okay, he hit hard. Can he hit me from here? No, he can't. Ow. Okay, yeah, wow. Is that a power five bow, though? I'm curious. Uh, power infinity flame, all that shit. Let's see if I can't give it to him. Just spawned him in, so probably not. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, he can't even pick up items. Damn. Such a shame. Okay, so he had what? Red? Ooh, that's, that's a pretty decent looking little... Okay, you use the dispenser to give him stuff. All right. That's interesting. Um, let me try for a skeleton that will uh, pick up a bow. That's more or less what I'm in, interested in. Okay. Hmm. Well, there we go. Can he hold a bow? Why aren't you picking it up? <sighs> Get a dispenser. Need a dispenser here. Come back. You haven't even donned your uniform yet. left his post and you know what that means death okay maybe try to give him a sword first then a bow hmm. a decent idea uh, give it that okay this is the best possible sword anyone can have. If he can't pick that up... Okay, we may have to just spawn in a fuck ton of skeletons until one of them is capable of holding a, a sword. <sighs> I didn't want to pick it up, damn it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, that's a problem. Aren't these guys supposed to be capable of picking up uh, both swords and new bows? Did they change that? 
Oh, wow, yeah. Uh, that's <laughs> called that. You had a good idea, Copperator. They were definitely going to um, sink in there eventually. Anyway, the idea is uh, we were going to have a sign, like, posted right here or something. And it's going to say, WARNING! LIFEGUARD ON DUTY! And uh, we're going to have, like, one or two of these. Sort of like one over here, one over here, and then one here. Weren't there some old adventure maps that had skeletons with swords? Yes, that was the thing. Oh, well. I'm going to give you your leather stuff back. It looks really good. Look, it reminded me of Santa Claus a little bit. But uh, anyway. So yeah, caution, lifeguard on duty or something like that. Warning, lifeguard on duty. His duty It's his duty to do you in. Caution around the skeleton shop breaks map arts. Oh, okay. Um... I mean, all things considered. Also, having a little barrier here is a really smart idea. Because, like, it gives you something to duck behind. So that you're not always out in the open. You can pick running out in the open if you're stupid. And, you know, all the skeleton lifeguards will pick you off. But, like, you could do that. I like that idea. It's a start. It's a really neat idea. Also, I've got to shave off all the excess material that isn't going to be visible. So, for example, this bottom part here. You're, you're never going to see this, so I don't need to build this. Building on full survival only without cheats, so that's why you like to stuff the last longer. I understand. It's a, it's a mentality thing, you know. You have to build up the mentality of surviving against the odds on 2B2T. It's all right, I understand. A blaze could work, but it might fall into the water unless it's smart enough to fly above it. I'm fairly certain a blaze does not fly often enough. It only floats, and th even then only barely. Yeah, see, he's gonna walk right into the water and die. A blaze is a really cool idea, but, like, there are just some things that are just too impractical, you know? Rip. Oh, well. We have plenty of other mobs and dangers and other things that we can make use of. So it's not the end of the world. Oh, oh shit. It's like the wallpaper peeling off your walls. Oh, uh... Like, it'd be kind of cool to have some rainy rooms with full gold regular skeletons with swords. Then full the, the full gold, gold would be a raincoat. Oh, that is so clever. I like that. Um, and then have those rainy rooms have, like, a leaky roof or something. Uh, we could kind of demo that. Sort of like a... Um, what would it be? It would be light blue concrete. And then grass. Something like this. And then make it somewhat bright. cutting onions. What the fuck does that mean? 
Oh, oh, you mean, uh, the dripping particle effect of, um... Yeah, crying obsidian. Uh, we could maybe do that. I don't know that I would want to have it rainy in that sense. There we go. He's in a testing server. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, this is a test server to uh, figure out how to design everything the way we want it to. But if I have creative mode, is this 2P2T? Yeah, it would still be 2P2T, even if I had creative mode. But that's not how... Like, first of all, no one on 2P2T is ever going to have creative mode. Not if Housemaster has his way about it. And secondly, it's... You know, it's an experience being on 2P2T. Okay, and now, I guess we could just use slabs and then just waterlog those, because that'll still leak through. Yeah, that'll work. And then... Oh, actually, I do want that. Oh, I was trying to layer the crying obsidian particles and the water droplets, but the water doesn't really drip enough. Yeah, it's a bit... I don't know. It doesn't uh, behave the way you would want it to. I think the water dripping through the ceiling is going to have to be pretty much good enough. water drip 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 in here like this is as rainy heavy air quotes rainy as it's gonna ever get but you know it could be worse and then I want some sort of light source here on the sides I can push it out. Um, and then we could... What's like a really nice transparent block for this edge? saw a video about it years ago. House is wise to some of the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. House is not going to allow certain tricks to ever be pull offable again. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I should probably have made this out of quartz. Oh, you've not been interested in 2B2T ever? Well, I mean, you know, that's that's how it goes. Not everybody's going to have that that desire to play in a place like 2B2T. That's all right. Okay. Uh, I was thinking Midnight Rainstorm is the room look, but this looks all right, too. Midnight Rainstorm. Okay. With, like, a darker blue, you think? Not a terrible idea. Oh, using black concrete. Okay. Um. Oh, and having street lights. Ooh, yeah, street lamps. We could maybe do a um. What was it? That that one neighborhood in Kane Pixels' uh, backroom series where it was like all blood red. But instead of it being red, it'd just be pitch black. And uh, it's like rainy or drippy everywhere or something like that. Have eight gray stained glass clouds? That's, that's an idea, yeah. 
But I would want to make a room like that really big. Like, really big. Like, this entire back half big. And then I would like, yeah, this is a demo, but like something crazy, you know, something good. I think it could work, yeah. We have to kind of build around this a little bit, but I think that's not going to be too bad. You know, if I thought about it, I would have uh, moved all this up several blocks to where it's like almost flush with the ceiling so that I've got more building space in here. But I don't know, maybe. Sucks to be sick on your birthday. Oh, I'm sorry, Scooper. Can't go outside, lung virus get worse. Holy shit. Well, I hope you get something nice to stop that, yeah. The water drips from everywhere but the clouds. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, that's how the water drip function is in... Whoa. Speaking of, uh... <laughs> Speaking of rain, I just heard the fucking sky rumble. Was that, uh, was that audible on stream, I wonder? They're getting rich from selling slaves on 2 pgt Yeah, I was almost part of that, and then I thought, nah, this is stupid. It's already much better. Okay, good. Well, I, I wish you the best, Scooper. But yeah, damn. It's been raining like mad all day today, so... I'm wondering if we're gonna have more... More of that... Streaming on other places? Just here. I, I don't stream on other platforms. Aww. I just heard my kitty cat. She whined. She wants in. I know she's afraid. She is, uh... She is a scaredy cat when it comes to... You know... Rainstorms, thunderstorms, loud noises, strangers... Shit like that. Did I see the eclipse, Chief? I got to see a brief amount of the eclipse. Sadly, this rain system pulled in. And so you just heard the uh, the rumble of the boom. Well, that was that was from that, sadly. Oh, damn it. She's, she is desperate. Desperate to get in my room. Oh, well. And, you know, I think we're going to call it there for the evening because user worlds, we didn't have a whole lot of user worlds this week because I focused entirely on this as well as on 2B2T a little. So, uh, you know, we'll have more stuff at a later date. But thank you all so much. You love the sound of rain? Yeah, sound, the sound of rain is soothing, but the thunder uh, rumble is... It's a little much. I don't know. Whatever, guys. Thank you all so much for giving me a moment of your time. I do appreciate it. Make sure to, uh, you know, leave a like and subscribe and uh, ring the notification bell and all that other stuff. Join us on, on Discord. Follow me on Twitter. Blah, 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 blah. Other than that, I will catch y'all later um, Thursday for more 2B2T stuff. Y'all have a great night. Bye. Oh, Scooper, thank you. I appreciate you, man. I just saw that right before I was hit, about to hit the uh, off button. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it.